Hey y'all, this is Zach. Um, tonight I've got some chicken breast I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna make some bacon ranch chicken sliders. Uh, really good, we made them before. Uh, we kind of tweaked the recipe a little bit. We got it down to where we want it, so we're gonna go ahead and video record it. So I've got, I've got three boneless skinless chicken breasts here. Um, I'm gonna use about five or six pieces of bacon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut those into pieces and brown them. Um, I've got some pizza, some four cheese pizza blend. Uh, shredded cheese here. I've got eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna use a cup of chicken broth. And my special ingredients, I've got ranch seasoning. I'm gonna use about an equal of, of a packet of it. And lipton onion soup mix. These are two of my, my favorite ingredients. So, all right, we're gonna top it off with some, uh, I have some cornstarch. Uh, I got some green onions. That's gonna be a garnish and some of this cheese is gonna garnish. And last time we made it, We've used, well, we used different kinds of bread. We used like a smaller hamburger bun type bread. It was good. Uh, but we're gonna up our game tonight. Hawaiian, or King Hawaiian Rolls. Aww. So, and if you're looking for a good appetizer to take, you know, to a work party or something like that, um, this is great. You can really um, up your appetizer game. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of my bacon into pizza. I mean, into pieces and go ahead and turn the salt flesh on and get those brown and we'll be back. Hey y'all, we're back. All right, I cooked my bacon down. I used the saute function. I added my bacon pieces and cooked them down for a few minutes so I got them the, you know, the color I like. And I removed them. I'm gonna let the drippers down in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel, hit the cancel button. And I'm gonna pour in a cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze it, scrape up any brown bits that are stuck to the bottom. Okay. Now I've got my three, my three uh, chicken breasts. I'm gonna go put those in there. Oops. All right, this is going in the sink to be washed. Now I've got my Lipton onion soup mix. That's going on top. And I've got my ranch seasoning, and I'm gonna pour or sprinkle about a package worth of that in there on top of that chicken. And that's all I'm gonna add for now. Let me get my lid, put it on my sealed position. Hit the manual or pressure cook button, whatever yours has, and bring it up to 15 minutes, and we'll be back. All right, so I did 15 minutes pressure cook and did a 10 minute natural release. And then I used my cleaned tongs and I got them out. And this is what they, they look like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of forks and I'm gonna shred this chicken up and I'm gonna put it back in here and I'll put some more stuff in here. So when I do that, I'll be back. All right, we're back. I took out my chicken that you saw and I shredded it using a couple of forks or you can use a bear claw, whatever you got. So I turn my saute function back on because I want to heat the heat the liquid back up. I'm going to get this back in there. All right, start right back in that juice. And I turn the saute function back on because I want to oops, I want to melt my cream cheese in there. So that's in there. All right, I've got a tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm gonna put that in there, that's kind of a, a thickening agent. And I'm gonna put half the bacon that I showed you earlier, and I'll put that back in there. And I'll put just a little bit of this cheese. And we'll use the cheese mainly for the topping, but I am gonna put a little bit in there. Uh, just to get it all melted in. All right, so saute function is back on. I'm gonna stir this up until the cream cheese and the other cheese is melted back in there. Which won't, it's not going to take long. And then we'll be back. All right, so there we go. Uh, and use the cheese and cornstarch to add to the thickness you like. You will take a look at it. Mm. It's good. And I put it on. Again, we've got these Hawaiian King, you know, rolls. And we've uh, we made these little sliders. I'm mean, use the rest of the bacon and the green onions to kind of put as a garnish, but these are really good. Uh, we're about to throw down on these. 
So we will see you all next time.